Alright, welcome to another Gearblocks update. In this video I'll briefly go over the recently introduced resizable parts in the game and the changes to the controls to support part resizing. Previously there used to be a whole bunch of uh, parts in different sizes blocks, axles, slider rails and plates. This was getting a bit cumbersome to find the part in the size you wanted but also in the future I want to add more material variations and it would have just exploded the number of different parts to choose from. So to make things a bit more manageable I've now made um, each uh, beam in a different material be resizable and you can tell which parts are resizable because they have that little plus minus icon in the top left corner. So let's spawn a beam just the way we would have done before except that now when I hold down shift I can um, use W, A, S and D to resize parts. And In this case it only resizes along one axis, left and right, as we view it here. So it's A and D from this viewpoint that uh, will resize it. So whenever we have a part selected, we can just use A and D to resize anywhere from the smallest size, which is 2 units long, up to 25 units long. If I clone this part, it'll remember the size that it originally came from, of course. Um, now, it used to be that holding shift and um, W, A, S and D would actually move the part relative to the cursor. But instead now, that's done by using the mouse. Which, I changed that over because I felt it was a bit more intuitive to work that way. And it behaves a little bit more smoothly. So you can see as I move the mouse, it moves my selection point along the beam. And I can do this whether I'm aligning to another part or not. And I can also, of course, resize the part while aligning as well, so I can figure out exactly where I want to place it and how long the part needs to be. The other final control change that, that happened was I, uh, instead of, it used to be the case that when you held shift and, and clicked um, while aligning a part, it would do what I call a sort of repeat attach or it would clone the part and then um, attach and clone another one for you to, to select but um, I move, move this to a different key, it's now on when you hold Q this was primarily to just reduce the number of things that were happening on left shift and make it more consistent in the sense that Q is what brings up the inventory to, to spawn parts so it felt more appropriate that when you hold Q and as I'm doing now and then left click it uh, spawns another identical part. Again, if I resize, hold Q, it'll spawn in the, in the last size that we changed to. So let's try some other parts. Now plates um, are resizable along both axes, so I can resize along that direction using W and S, and along that direction using A and D. Now note that this is relative to the view angle that you're looking at the parts. So if I rotate it this way, it's now A and D that changes it in that direction, and W, S in that direction. And again, it can be done while aligning to another part as well. And again, you can move it around with the mouse and position it where you want. As I say, axles work the same way, so we can position uh, an axle, resize it, and just like beams, it can only be resized along the one, the one direction. Slider rails, very much the same kind of thing. The advantage of this, of course, is that now we have a much uh, greater selection of slider rail sizes because before I only had a fairly limited selection. So this should add a lot more flexibility um, with uh, what you can build. Now if I want to resize a part that's already part of a construction, the only way I can do that is by detaching it first and then reattaching. So if I want to resize this slider rail, I can't do it until I detach and then resize and reattach again. This limitation is due to the fact that otherwise I'd have to deal with um, deleting and adding attachments 
to pa parts that are already attached. Um, something I may re revisit in the future, I'm not sure yet, but I think the way it works n now is it's still pretty intuitive. And it works, it works pretty well. Something to bear in mind now that you have much more um, flexibility in the sizes of your parts. Uh, before, you could only really have... Most of the parts were sort of odd number unit sizes. Um, now you can have whatever you want. Um, but with that added flexibility, there's something to bear in mind, which is if you want to create a part and then, I don't know, have something, say, like this that's centered within that, you, you, if it's an even number of uh, units wide, you can't do that, obviously. So you'd have to, you know, make it an odd, odd number and then it can be... The part can be attached directly central. Just something to bear in mind when you're planning your constructions and figuring out what sizes to make things. The last thing to mention is that um, any old save games you already have uh, will be automatically converted over to use the new resizable parts. Um, but uh, it's a permanent conversion. In you know, if you save the save game back out again, it'll be permanently using the new parts, and it won't work with any older builds of the game. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this one, so uh, thanks for watching.